Greetings from sunny England. Well, as promised, I've put together a, another video for you today. Um, but this time I've got another camera uh, on the palette here. Um, let me know what you think of this. Um, it's a bit of a trial, really. I'm not entirely sure it works. It definitely gives you an insight into the way I mix the paint and the paints I'm mixing. But I don't know. I don't know. It's... Uh, maybe maybe less less um shots of the of the palette i don't know but you know let me know what you think in the comments below and uh we'll try and um perfect it so here we are we've got the the paints on the palette um i'm mixing uh, basically it's a sort of a, a cool but very light green here for the grass um probably not the most involved video i've i've done here but as i say is is uh bit of trial and error so we'll just see how we get on as you can see when I mix the paint there and when I pick the paint up on the brush I'm using a fan brush fairly old fan brush this um, sometimes in fact almost always the uh, older brushes work the best you know they're a little bit running the newer ones uh, they just you know they don't always cut the mustard in fact sometimes I'll go and age it a little bit on a on a grinder or something, but um, or cut it around with a with a sharp knife to make it less regular. But what I'm doing is I'm I'm push I'm I'm pushing the brush forwards against the paint to to load up the tip there, and um, just putting in just a line of of um, of paint. And for that further bank there, that that grass that is more in the middle ground or in the distance, it works quite well. And there are so many different techniques to doing it. As you can see here, I've gone to actually a slightly newer brush, try and get a, a sharper edge, sharper line. But, you know, we're using generally the same paints here. <clears throat> um, and I'll go over the whole the whole area in the pretty much the one, the one tone of green. Uh, and I'll just keep mixing it. And then once I've gone over that, I'll then change the color slightly and go over it you know here and there in other places but uh we'll um we'll show you today pretty much how it's done Also being careful not to, you know, cover the whole area. Um, we want to leave some of those darker bits in. Um, you know, it's not it's not a a, a bowling green, so uh, we need to sort of make it look a bit tufty, a little bit irregular. Just keep putting it on, and you know, I haven't actually mixed a different colour yet, have I? It's just just the same colour. I'll go over the majority of it with that. But it's a good technique this you can use this technique for um, you know more upfront foliage um, but it, it is particularly good for this and a bit later on I, I think I actually go on to using a, a flat hog as you can see in the image there just zip through this otherwise we'll we'll be here all day and um, I think it's uh, probably about three hours condensed into 10 minutes or, or so here. So we're just going over the whole, the whole bank here.
in the photograph we've got this darker edge just as the grass meets the path there uh, and I think I'm gonna I might I might put some uh, sort of darker greens over the top of that but I think I'm gonna leave that sort of slightly dark I like the way the uh, path is in contrast with it so here we are now I've done the majority of that area in that color and I'm just gonna pull out a few bits here so I'm just lightening up a bit of titanium white just to give it a slightly different tone you can see as I put it on here it's just that little bit little bit more saturated in color a little bit brighter and we're just going to build it up yeah that's not bad is it that's looking pretty good need a few more variations in coloring a few more variations of color in there which we'll do so here we're going in with a bit of burnt umber got a bit of that magenta in there as well we don't want it too dark so I'm just going in with this bit of titanium white in there and that's making it look a little bit more opaque a bit more pastely which for this this uh, picture here that's ideal I don't know what these bits are. I think they're just. I mean, obviously you've got you know variations of of uh, color in the grass there, but these seem to be looking at the photograph. They're just like tufty bits of. Um, I don't know. I guess it's all like dead grass, really, or the darker areas of the dead grass. And in a second, you'll see me go over with a a, a lighter color um, just to pick out the highlights. But I don't really know what they are. But you know what? Let's just put them in. It doesn't really matter, does it? But I think you do need that variation. One of the things I have learned is to put in sometimes even more colours than you think are necessary. And it really does. It really does make it look real. It's too easy sometimes just to go in with, you know, one or two colours. And it will look a bit flat. But this is something I learned the hard way, really. That finishing. That's a difficult, difficult bit to learn, that finishing a picture. So here we are now with the the uh, lighter areas in there. I guess actually that could be anything in there, couldn't it? It looks sort of a, uh, an unusual colour for it to be just dead grass you'd think it'd be a little bit more yellow so I don't really know what it is but it's in there so we're putting it in lighten that up a bit going a little bit warmer actually that magenta you mix that with a little bit of um, yellow and it really does give you a nice warm color And just to finish this uh, this video off, putting in a bit of a time lapse here. Um, just finishing off this bit of bank. A little bit more detail in this one, but you'll see as I build it up how it works. Once again, everybody, let me know what you think of this video. Leave a leave a comment below and. Um, if you like to see more of, the, of me actually mixing, let me know, and uh, I'll make sure I put that in every every video. So I think uh, I think they're getting a little bit more involved 
each video but you know I quite enjoy doing it so I'm going to leave you with the time lapse now thanks for watching everybody and um, I shall uh, see you all next week